You're welcome. Okay. Electric field box. Uh, so I have some just some basic concepts about electric field lines. So they are always in the <coughs> direction of the electric field. As I said, some of them are very basic. The lines per uh, unit area are proportional to the field strength. Uh, I suppose it would be helpful if we did this. Okay. Um, today's desktop picture is a picture I took of one of the potions the girls make. They like to make potions outside. They take things and they mix them together and they pretend they're like potions. I don't know. Uh, but I took a picture. It's a bunch of leaves. Uh, I'm sorry, a bunch of flower petals in a bucket. And then I took and mirrored it and stuff and made a desktop background. Stare at it. It, it is. Okay, so looking at just a basic point charge. This is the electric field around a point charge. So here, notice that the lines per unit area are proportional to the field strength. In other words, if we look right here, you can see that the number of electric field lines per unit area is much larger than it is over here. That's because the electric field is greater in this location than it is out here. They always start uh, and are perpendicular to a positively charged and end at a negatively charged object. If there is more of one charge than another, then the electric, some of the electric field lines go to infinity. For example, if you look at Let's see. This one. Here we have a positively, a positively charged object and a negatively charged object. The one with a positive charge has twice the charge. So some of these, these electric field lines do not end at the negatively charged particle, but rather end at infinity. Electric field lines never cross. Electric field lines will never cross. And more field lines at a charged particle mean more, there's more charge located right there. For example, with this one, you can see that we have the electric field line density is smaller here and larger here. And that's because there is a smaller amount of charge here than there is right here. And eventually we'll be able to figure out exactly why it is the charges are going to bunch up where the radius of curvature is the smallest. But we're not quite there yet. So just to go through some of our electric field lines. We have, we went through these two before. So this is just a positively charged object. This is, all this is, um, is little uh, iron filings placed next to a charge to uh, show the, di the direction of the electric field. Here we have the positive and negative charges. You can see the electric field lines um, again there. And then this is what it would look like with two positive charges. Just to, just to show some basic electric field line. 